Hi, I'm James Burnage from Start Automating, and today I'm going to talk about how you can write an IcePack V2 icicle. IcePack V2 is a collection of some of our coolest modules for PowerShell. It includes PowerShell Pipeworks, Show UE, Script Cop, and Easy Out, and it gives you this way to write complicated add-ons for the ISE called icicles. I'm going to walk you through the two most common forms of them today. By far the easiest one to write is a command-based icicle. And all you have to do is have a file named whatever.icicle.ps1 including a hash table. The value command is required and you need to go get command, whatever particular command that you'd like to display. And you can optionally put in a suggested shortcut key. And that's how all parameter or add parameter works. Underneath the covers, there is actually a function add parameter that has all of these parameters. The pipeworks command request command input is actually tying together everything underneath the covers to make typing this work and actually propagate what you put in here into this UA so that I can type in foo and click add parameter and have it output directly into my current script. So if you just got a PowerShell command, that's it. That's all you need to do to turn it into an icicle. And then you can use import icicle and the name of the file dash force to register it. The most common case for icicles, however, is a little bit more complicated. Now, over here you're running in something that is actually not your core run space. And over here, you're running in your normal PowerShell console. So in order to make this, well, sane, icicles can actually let you write out their uh, functionality in three little parts. Their screen, their data update, and their UI update. So this history icicle, it has its name. Its screen is a selection of show UI script that actually determines how it'll render. Its data update occurs in your main run space and it's what actually will be used to refresh the icicle. So in this case, I go ahead and get history and I sort by when history was actually run. The UI update here is actually going to take the information given in the data update and arguments and it's going to go put that inside of the user interface and it's going to pack in resources that would be useful for it actually executing the command later. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm actually saying, take the history, find a control history list, change history list tag to be the host object, which is how I'd communicate back with the ISE, and change its item source to be this list of history items. And finally, you have to describe the update frequency. In this case, I'm saying that it should try to run every 10 seconds or so. By writing it this way, I get to actually avoid thinking about multi-threading at all, and I get to simply write my quick little interface up here, think about the little bit of data I need to collect there, and push it into my interface here. And I can create very complicated, open-ended functionalities in this right-hand pane that don't actually interrupt the normal day-to-day -day processing inside of the ISE. And that is why icicles are way cooler than the built-in add-ons. Hope this helps, and I look forward to showing you more fun stuff about Icepack V2.